Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Well, I'm certainly getting a later start this Sunday than, uh, than I had anticipated. It's about 7 p.m. as I'm recording this here in the good old Midwest of the United States. But hey, better late than never. Check out this piece here. This is from Daily Hoddle. Crypto analyst says Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin poised to lead altcoin comeback. Now, this particular piece, uh, it's about... Uh, Nicholas Merton, what he has to say, he's the most popular uh, crypto YouTuber, at least in terms of subscribers. He has, last I looked, 323,000 subscribers on uh, on YouTube. And on uh, Twitter here, I, I had him pulled up here, he's got uh, 48,500 followers. And um, I'd, I'd, I'd covered him recently. He's just been in the news a lot lately. His channel's called Data Dash. And, um, so I'd cited him in a couple recent videos. And uh, I happened to come across him when I joined the world of, uh, of, of crypto in November of 2017, and I watched him pretty pretty regularly, especially for the first couple months, but even a little bit into 2000, uh, 2018 here and there. But as I realized the fundamentals of XRP versus other cryptos, I became less and less interested. He's um, he, he doesn't trash product projects, but he's anti Ripple and XRP. He just fundamentally disagrees with it. I just have a gentleman's disagreement with him on that, which is perfectly fine. You can you can disagree, and he can he can think I'm wrong. I can think he's wrong. Perfectly cool. But uh, nonetheless, when it comes to chart and uh, analysis, uh, he's he's not the worst. Let's just say that. I, I tell you what, he will tell people things that they don't want to hear when it comes to price action. I remember when the entire asset class for crypto was around. You know, 500 billion, and he was he was predict, predicting that it was probably going to go down to two to 300 billion, and that was a short term uh, prediction, and it, it did ultimately happen, and then it went further down from there. And so, um, he's doing his best to be a realist. I think he's wrong about fundamentals, but in terms of chart analysis, uh, it's it's he's not the worst guy to follow, to be honest. There's a reason he has the massive following he has. So I'm happy to cover this. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that. I've got a separate analysis. Uh, positive sentiments that I'm going to share with you after that. And then the last piece I'm going to cover also sounds quite bullish. This is from Daily Hoddle, and it's titled, Bloomberg, Key Bitcoin Indicator Flips Bullish Flashes First Buy Signal Since December. So really, by and large, everything in this piece, uh, by and large, is, is quite positive. So let's go ahead and dig in. But before we do, if you would please delicately tap that like button. And if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP, Thank you for stopping by. I sure do appreciate the support. Go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. So this first piece here again, crypto analyst Nicholas Merton says he's seen more signs of a coming rally in the altcoin market. Merton, who runs the popular YouTube channel Datadash, says Bitcoin's dominance of the overall crypto market appears to be waning. And this isn't a brand new video, by the way. He's just getting a lot of uh, crypto media attention lately. Um... He believes it will likely continue to drop in the near term, giving Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin a chance to stage a rally against the crypto king. And I'll tell you what, in terms of Bitcoin dominance, when I was following him back in the day, and again, nothing against his channel, he, he runs a perfectly respectable, entertaining channel if that's the type of content you're looking for, just general crypto and chart analysis, which I just became less and less interested in the more interested I became in uh, Ripple and XRP because my entire investment thesis, as I always say, is that utility matters. I think that will lead to actual adoption and, uh, you know, ultimately higher price for XRP. Not financial advice, but that's just what I, 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 I happen to believe. Uh, so, and again, per perfectly fine channel. But in terms of Bitcoin dominance, the directions, I remember this because I, I was fairly regularly following following this guy and he talked about the way in which Bitcoin dominance was going to head, whether it was uh, down or up, uh, you know, down in, in terms of when I was watching to him in 2017, Bitcoin dominance up in terms of 2018. And uh, by and large, he was, he was quite correct in the way that things unfolded. So anyway, here's, here's a quote from him now in the most recent video. We started to see a major shift here over the last few weeks, and that is Bitcoin dominance starting to decline. So listen to this, guys. This really started to happen back here in early September. Ever since then, people have gotten worried with the idea that we might be seeing a trend shift. Whereas, for example, we were setting uh, higher lows and higher highs for Bitcoin, we're now seeing the opposite, lower highs and lower lows. That's a sign of a trend reversal, especially when you're setting multiple lower lows and lower highs. That's what I look for. And what I'm lo really looking for is a significant break below 67.5%. 
I see Ethereum and XRP as well. Again, some of the larger cryptocurrencies here, the second and third largest, are following suit and really gaining the market dominance here. Because that's how it works. It's kind of an outflow process here from the larger caps down to the mid and small caps. And so, guys, this goes back to the concept that I was talking about. And mind you, I, I, I want to say because there are always new subscribers coming to the Moon Lambo channel here, I am not a, a chart analyst. I don't pretend to, to, to be able to read charts or anything like that. I like to share the uh, the, the analysis that chart analysts uh, put out in, into the world. You know, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I think it makes for fun YouTube content. I'm more of a fundamentals type of guy. I, I, I do the research behind uh, XRP, what developers are building on top. That's where my interest lies, and that's why I'm a long-term holder. So when you're talking about this type, type of uh, you know, shifts in the crypto market in terms of price action and Bitcoin dominance versus altcoin dominance, I like to go to people that... Uh, you know, have reason, <laughs> have they can reasonably be trusted when they're making uh, such analysis. And I will tell you, and I've cited this on the channel over the last, um, I don't know, what would you say, six to eight weeks, you've been listening to me for a while, what do you think? Uh, it, it, just the concept of an alt season, because I, I've mentioned this a few times as well, over the last five years or so, Every single time Bitcoin dominance has gotten up to this degree, you have seen an alt season. And so some people had said, you know, with the, the decline in 2018 and, uh, you know, the death of ICOs, as it were, that uh, we're not going to see an alt season anymore. You know, Bitcoin maxis like Max Kaiser would say stuff like that. And I'd say, uh, 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 not so fast if you look at the volume. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a chart guy. I'm just saying, quite fundamentally, take a look on live coin watch. Uh, look at the volume from all of these alt altcoins. Yeah, some of them are pretty much dead, but there are tons of altcoins that are still here. And so there have been a number of chart analysts that have pointed this out. Patty Stash is one of them I, I've cited fairly recently. He says, hey, it, look, and he, it's not that he was promising what was going to happen, but it's more like, hey, uh, if you look over the last five years, every time Bitcoin dominance has gotten this high, you've had an alt season ultimately. So if it doesn't happen this time, it would be the very first. And he didn't put a time stamp on it. He's just saying, Here's where the charts are, and he did, he did keep saying, you know, you know, again, not with a timestamp, but he said he didn't think it would be that long before this would start to break out. And now you've got, uh, again, here, we're talking about Nicholas Merton, chart analyst, saying the same thing. And mind you, he's not even a fan of XRP, and he's saying, look at where we're going here, right? And so anyway, the piece continues. Merton also singles out Litecoin as a crypto asset that may be poised for a breakout. Here's a quote. The interesting thing about Litecoin is that all of the indicators are really starting to look good. We've been having the squeeze momentum indicator flatlining, very similar to what we saw back here in summer of 2018. Uh, the stochastic RSI is almost coming into the mid-range channel, which is a bullish sign. I think we're just going to ride along this long-term support line that's been slightly declining over time with each new low. And with that, it means that we're at a range where I start to see value in the market. But I don't think we're going to really take off until about three or four weeks, or until we really get that break on 67.5% Bitcoin dominance. And then uh, Litecoin has had a particularly volatile year, and this is fascinating. So Litecoin began the year with at uh, $30.46 and shot to $143.58 on June 22nd as the coins having approached. Um, and by the way, I have another video coming up today. I'm going to put out uh, just as a little teaser if you're following it all. Uh, okay, so that's huge price action, right? And you could have made a huge return if you had Litecoin at the beginning of the year, and then it shot up, and then people keep complaining about XRP, how it hasn't performed well this year. I've got a video I'm going to put out very shortly having to do with uh, uh, the uh, XRP's correlation to Bitcoin. I've, I've got an article you're going to want to see because that's evidence of what I've been saying forever. This is the first... Um, evidence that I've, I've really actually seen of it, other than, you know, I look at charts and I can flatly see whether, you know, to what degree XRP is correlated, but I have actual numbers I can't wait to share with you in a future video. Anyway, that's coming. But, um, so, so that's where we're at on that, and um, you can see where the, the crypto asset class is now, $212 billion as I record this, Bitcoin at $7,852. So, even as Bitcoin's come down several hundred dollars or so, I want to say over the last, what, day or two, something like that. I'm just pulling from memory here. It doesn't matter. I don't want to pull the Bitcoin chart. It doesn't matter. XRP still, 25.59 cents. Well, I'll be gosh darn. So, XRP doesn't want to get drugged, <laughs> dragged down any further despite Bitcoin doing that, at least for now. I just find that fascinating. And you can see even within the last 24 hours, you know, XRP at a high of 25.67 cents and a low of 25.15 cents. So 
Uh, looks like people not wanting to sell, which leads me to this next piece here. This is from AMB Crypto. XRP's restricted price may notice a boost with breach of ascending triangle. Oh, I can't wait to share this typo with you. It's crypto me. Oh, my God. So anyway, XRP's price was restricted between 26 and 24 cents in light of various developments that occurred in its system. Now, it doesn't say in its system. That's what it, the writer meant to write. But instead, what they wrote here was INTS ecosystem. INTS ecosystem. It's kind of like, oh, my God, the crypto media. It's like, again, like I, I keep saying it. If you're in crypto media, you write your piece up, okay, and it's done. It's like it's a draft. Really, it's just a draft, but then you just publish it. You don't check your work you know, for spelling errors, grammatical errors, or whatever. You just push that out into the universe. In fact, I think if you check your work and it's perfect, you're more likely to get fired. That's, I mean, just evidence from what I've seen. And sometimes when I'm reading this stuff, I kid you not, because of the typos, sometimes I'll look at a word, and I have a pretty good vocabulary, to be honest. It's, it's pretty decent, right? But sometimes I'll look at some of these words, and they're just typos, and I, I can't tell. Okay, I'm like, this is crypto media. Do I just not know this word, or is it a typo? It's usually a typo, right? So I'm just saying, man, take that for what it's worth. That said, I just want to get down to the conclusion here. Uh, I don't want to read all of this stuff. I just want to give the sentiment of a, another chart analyst. And so let's read the conclusion, concluding sentence here. According to the four-hour chart of XRP, a bullish breakout in the bearish markup may be taking place as the current resistance of XRP was marked at $0.26 cents and support was strong uh, at $23.56 cents with the asset being valued at $25.37. Cents. So again, take that for what it's worth. That's just one more analyst saying what they're saying, all right? And take a look at this now. This is a brand new piece as well. Bloomberg, key Bitcoin indicator flips bullish, flashes first buy signal since December. For the first time since late 2018, a technical indicator is signaling a bullish shift in momentum for the leading cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. The GTI Global Strength Indicator, which is used to identify the strength of an asset's price by comparing the movement of the daily close, shows Bitcoin is now in oversold territory, reports Bloomberg. Bitcoin's ability to hold the line and remain above $8,000 is an additional sign of strength. Bloomberg intelligence analyst Mike McLone says he expects Bitcoin to consolidate in the short term. He believes Bitcoin is slowly beginning to emerge as a hedge against global economic calamity and is increasingly being viewed as an asset similar to gold. And here's a quote. The Bitcoin maturation process will accelerate into the year end as volatility declines in a more subdued price appreciation process. The initial euphoric trans, uh, transition to a bull f from a bear market is over, uh, which should lead to an extended consolidation period, but with positive bias for similar reasons as gold. And so it, get, it gets me thinking here. So they're talking, okay, so we get a p potential Bitcoin bull run, whereas uh, analysts like Nicholas Merton, which I just cited there, and there are others, I cited a bunch of them recently and in, 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 you know, within the last week, multiple videos. There's a lot of analysts out there that are saying, eh, it looks more so like uh, altcoins are going. And so with me not making price predictions, I'm not saying who's right, who's wrong. I'm just sharing the information with you that I find here. But I can say the sentiment that I seem to be coming across more frequently than not, it's, it's mostly positive regardless of whether they think it's Bitcoin or altcoins. But what I've been seeing recently, it's more along the lines of, of altcoins. So again, just take that for what it's worth. I'm not an analyst. I don't know which way it's going to go. That's just what I feel like I'm seeing. Looking back on it. Anyway, and then this piece continues. In a series of tweets, economist Alex Kruger says he's not buying the notion that Bitcoin is maturing into a safe haven asset. And here's a quote. In weeks like the current one, uh, should realize that Bitcoin is without a silver of doubt, neither a risk-off safe haven nor a risk-on asset, and put the argument to rest once for all. I've been expressing this line of thinking for a long time. It has become a lonely rant in 2019. Stocks have been crashing since yesterday's ISM print. All assets aside of crypto assets are trading in line as usual. Right, and so uh, that's that's pretty much the general sentiment uh, there. So you just again, kind of take it for what it's worth. Uh, regardless, I'm not seeing too many analysts out there uh, su suggesting that uh, crypto in general as an asset class is going to go down. Uh, one notable trader, though, very popular, would be Peter Brandt. He's a Bitcoin maximalist, I think it's fair to say. 
with uh, over 300,000 followers on Twitter and uh, like a 40 plus year career in trading. So maybe he's good at trading, maybe he's not. You can have your own opinion on that. I've seen people on both sides of that. But uh, he thinks, he's not saying this is going to happen, but he thinks it's in the cards for Bitcoin to potentially go down to $52 to $5,300 range. Um, that information is, uh, he was in a YouTube video that was published maybe about three days or so ago. I'd have to go back and look, but it's something along those lines. So who knows? And then what would that do for the price of XRP? I don't know. <laughs> Bitcoin just went down like several hundred dollars in the last day or so. And uh, XRP is doing just fine. So who knows? Who knows to what degree? But uh, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!